today's video is a story time video about a tinder horror story and i've wanted to tell the story actually for a long time ever since i started my channel and started posting more frequently but i just haven't really had the chance to just sit down and film it for you guys so i'm pretty excited to tell you guys about this story before i get into the video guys i just want to take a minute to thank you guys so much for the continued support i really appreciate it i hope you guys have been liking the content i've been putting out and i'm just really excited honestly to start this youtube family i just want this channel to be the no judging channel this channel is for anyone who has felt alone if you guys ever need a laugh my videos are here i will leave a couple links down below for you guys to catch up if you missed last week's video and also i will leave as per usual my social media links down below for instagram snapchat and twitter if you guys want to see any updates or sneak peeks or videos to come and let's get into the video so you guys this was actually not that long ago it was probably six or seven months ago and i was on tinder usually i'm just like not even i'm so picky it's not even a joke at this point because honestly 2017 i feel like is the year of shitheads and just playing games you know what i mean and so i just have really not been um focused on dating or like really finding anyone because like fuck that i have other adult things to worry about so i hadn't really been um on the prowl or like really looking but this one guy he was he was where it's at so i was like okay let me talk to this guy real quick. So we start talking and everything is going a-okay. He is a fucking grade A gentleman. It is popping off. We're vibing, we're talking, getting to know each other. He tells me a little something about himself. So eventually after like two or three weeks of talking, we decide to meet up and go on a date. So you guys, it's like two or three days before this date. I was like, okay, I need to get this rolling. So I started planning my outfit and thinking about what I'm gonna wear and thinking about makeup looks, what shoes to wear, what bag to bring, I'm just really obsessing over what I'm gonna wear. So I do and we meet up and everything is going great. He's touching me on the arm. I'm being cute and a little spicy, you know, bringing my little brand of spicy up in there. And at this point, you guys, I am thinking this is, we are fitting together like a fucking puzzle piece. We are gonna make something out of this. I'm in the moment, I'm feeling it. I ended up finding out that he was a Boston native. He lived here all his life and he knew this city so well because I had just moved here. So I was like, okay, you know what I mean? Like it'd be dope for you to show me around. And we were talking about life and we were talking about what we want to do with our lives and our careers. And then all of a sudden the conversation kind of takes a philosophical turn. I ended up asking him, do you believe in regrets? Like if so, do you have any? <sighs> he says, not murdering my older brother. Excuse me, sir. And because I'm a dumbass, I come up with the lame excuse that I need to go to the bathroom and touch up my makeup. I did not. I remember this moment like it was yesterday. I was standing in the bathroom mirror looking at myself in this Magianos because Magianos is where it's at. I'm standing there thinking, this did not just happen. You did not just meet up with this guy who could be a potential murderer. Fall for all of his bullshit. So I'm standing there thinking, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna get out of this situation? So you guys, I texted my friend who at this point, because I was in Boston, was in Maryland, and was like, oh my God, SOS. I need you to call me in five minutes and fake an emergency. Tell me that something is wrong with my apartment, that I need to get back to my apartment, and call the maintenance. So she, thank God, answers my text, calls me, and basically after I hung up with her, I was calling my fucking Uber at this point because I was like, a bitch is not gonna die today. My Uber gets here, I basically bullshit this guy and tell him that I have to leave, that the maintenance guys tried to get in and that there's no spare key, so I need to come home and let them in. He believes me, he like doesn't really know what to say, but he's like, okay, like, you know, like make sure you get home, like text me when you get home. He basically wants to make sure that I'm okay. And so I'm like, fuck. Oh, honestly, I feel like every video I post now is like, oh, like the time I almost died, but actually though. So literally, I feel like I'm not gonna live a long life, you guys. I feel like, I checked the other day, like online, and I measured my lifeline, and apparently I'm not gonna live long. They say that if your lifeline is short, that you are gonna live a short life, and so that's probably gonna happen to me because I've almost died like 20 times, and I have so many more stories to tell you guys, and I have some fucking insane story times coming up soon. You guys are not 
ready. That's pretty much it for this week's video. And I just want to say thank you again for the continued support. You guys are awesome. Make sure to follow all my social media. The links, again, are down in the description box below. Turn my notifications on in case you want to be notified every time my videos are posted. They come every Tuesday, 11.30 a.m. They are queued. Get fucking ready. You are not ready for the next two fucking videos I have, you guys. Stay tuned for those, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great week. I love you. Yeah, I will catch you guys next Tuesday.